Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CBK destination trailer. This has double loft, triple slide, huge RV here. This thing could be a really nice tiny home style setup for somebody. We're gonna take a few minutes to we'll walk you through the inside and outside of this RV and show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Cedar Creek Cottage destination trailer. This is a beautiful high-end destination trailer. Lots of top quality features from the construction of the walls, the roof, the floor, all aluminum cage, hung gel coat fiberglass exterior. This thing has two lofts, huge bathroom back here. Check this out. So this is the back part of the RV. So you're basically stepping down into the bathroom area here. You have the dual vanity sink, multiple drawers. These are full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers, soft clothes. You have the magnetic catches here, soft close hinges, you have a vent fan right there, big medicine cabinet. Very nice one piece fiberglass shower here has the fancy little shower head set up there. Does have the sit down seat in there as well. LED light strip up above, but tons of room in this uh, bathroom here. Plenty of room to come in here, use the old porcelain throne. You have plenty of room to get dressed, get in and out of the shower and not feel like you got to kick somebody out of the RV in order to do so. Uh, definitely a nice setup here. Now right here, this is a big closet, or if you want, you can order it with this Splendide Stack Washer Dryer. Very nice system used in a lot of RVs, the Splendide setup here. And then down below, you got another big drawer here. A little shelf up there, place for some towels or robe or whatever you might want to put in here even have a little motion light down there as well. Now above us is one of the lofts. So stepping back out here, we have a staircase right here. Nice metal handrail. But we have this staircase taking us up to this loft. Little protective guard here. There is a large turbo exhaust fan right there as well. You can see the day-night roller shades up here. A little bit of shelf space there, electric outlet, USB charger ports back there. There's also TV hookups back there as well. But a very nice loft back here for the kids. Now looking forward here, you're going to have an L-shaped sofa set up and this will come out and make into a bed so if you do have some extra guests they could sleep out here on the couch for you. You have a huge window right there overlooking the back side of the RV. Electric outlet on each side of that window. There's USB charger ports over on the right as well and you also have a light switch over there to flip on and off the lights. All vinyl floor on your kitchen slide and your main subfloor. And then over on this slide, they're gonna use that woven material um, that you find in a lot of pontoon boats. It's a lot more heavier duty than carpet and easier to clean up. Big sliding glass entry exit door. Looking up at our ceiling, they have kind of a nice little decorative cross beam here. You can see one of your ducted Coleman ACs up there as well. A 
Now on the side of the island, you have your propane leak detector, electric outlet, USB charger ports. There is this really nice flip up and down countertop extension, some LED lights down below. Beautiful solid surface kitchen countertops here. And check this out. This one was even ordered with this really fancy dishwasher feature. Big drawer down below, some storage over there as well. Got that high rise sprayer faucet, large undermount sink. Over here, you have a very large pantry with pull out drawers. I really like how they did that. There's even an electric outlet back in there. But you have these nice pull out drawers. You're gonna have storage on the left side of your stove down there, along with a couple drawers. And then right here, you even have trash can feature here and a little bit of storage there. Maybe you can keep your trash bags there. This is the Furion oven. Got a little bit of storage space down below there. Pretty big oven. Got the light inside, little light up knobs. You got little on off buttons for those. Three burner stove top. Little paper towel holder over there, spice rack setup, Furion microwave as well, and quite a bit more storage there. And over here, you have a very large Furion refrigerator. It's got some controls built into the door here. Figure out how it all opens. Looks like there's a little push button. Ice maker built in as well. So your freezers on the bottom. Cedar Creek also has a very nice construction video you might check out that kind of shows you how they're built, put together. They are not ashamed of how they build their stuff. So they do a really nice construction video explaining to you how they build it, showing you going down the assembly lines a lot of times in their videos um, where a lot of RV manufacturers won't even make a construction video because they don't want you to know how they build them. Over there, you have a little staircase taking you up to that loft. We'll check that out in a minute. There's also an electric outlet down there. I keep walking right on past this cool feature here. So we have a big flat screen TV. We have fireplace down there, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. They did do a little shelf here with a little built-in drawer as well. Now this is something that is pretty cool. This huge Murphy pantry here. So there is a little coat hook over here. You have adjustable shelves on this side. Electric outlet back there. There's also some little drawers down below. And even on the back of the door here, it has some shelf space for you as well. And I like they put a little shock assist on it there so that you don't accidentally let it fling open and damage anything. But a very, very nice setup here. And it has a pretty heavy duty magnet that kind of holds it back into place. And then underneath of here, there is actually a latch. It slides across, locks it into place for travel. So when you get it, it will have that locked in and you got to unlock it to use it. So over here, you're gonna have a very nice, traditional kind of freestanding table and chair. And then you have a little bench for storage. Now, this also has a leaf extension on it as well. They are also using this new composite slide floor. This is pretty expensive stuff. And also 
um, a lot more durable. So if say that window leaked on accident and got down into your slide floor, that composite material doesn't rot like a typical plywood or OSB board floor. Um, so that is very nice. And again, it's an aluminum studded cage construction. So even your studding is not gonna rot out, but you might have to replace some interior boards and things like that. But the main structure is not rotten out. That's very, very important on the life of an RV. All right, back to where we were here. We have some controls here. So you've got your slide buttons, awning buttons, uh, light switches, 12 volt tank heaters for cold weather camping, monitor panels, AC controls, turbo exhaust fan controls. These are AC temperature sensors. The ceiling fan control light switch here. We have another Coleman AC up here. There is cabinetry back there, electric outlet, another turbo exhaust fan up there. There is TV hookups over here, light switch over here as well. Windows up there open, also have day night shades. Now let's head into the bedroom here. All right, stepping into the bedroom area right here, we have a swing door. Now we're going to step down into the bedroom. So we have the Camper King bed here. Nice mattress set up. It does raise up, so there is storage under there, and then there's also kind of a quick access storage area here as well. Window on both sides of the bed do open. You have a little metal shelf up there as well for setting maybe a drink or your phone. There's USB charger ports back there and also electric outlet on each side of the bed area. So down here, it's all vinyl floor as well. I have kind of a little sit down area over here if you wanted to use it for that or shelf space. There is a little dresser area over there. This one was also ordered with the optional electric bedroom wall heater. 32 inch TV up there as well. Nice view, hopefully wherever you're at, allowing you to see around the front of the RV and the side here. A little hidden storage underneath your dresser top. Back here, you're gonna have a pretty good sized closet. There is an internet connectivity thing back there you can use to subscribe to, a couple ground fault breakers. Uh, water heater on off electric switch right there. Another electric outlet in here. You have the little vacuum that comes with it as well. Light set up there is a motion light. There's a motion light down here at the step area as well. So overall, a pretty decent sized bedroom. Now you can if get it with a queen bed instead of a king if you want, which gives you about an extra five inches on each side of the bed here for more maneuverability. But I know most people want it with the larger king, giving yourself a little more sleeping space. All right, now we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV real fast. And then we're gonna come back in and close it up for you at the end. Um, we'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Cottage 40CBK destination trailer here. Starting here on the door side of the RV. First things up, you have a really nice high gloss gel coat fiberglass exterior. This is a hung fiberglass exterior, not your typical cheaper laminated stuff. This is all hand put together. Very, very nice setup here. Uh, you have aluminum studded insulated walls. You also have deep tent safety glass windows, single pane standard, option for dual pane windows. Many dealers order it with dual panes. Some, however, don't. So make sure you get what you want. That is a difference in cost. So again, check it out before you pay for it. You do have a black lower metal skirting. This was also ordered with optional stabilizer jacks on it. Now, some people want jacks, some people don't. Some people like to block them and take the wheels and stuff off and just let it sit there permanently, strap it down kind of scenario, depending on where you're located. So keep that in mind as well when shopping. 
This one was ordered with two power awnings. The main power awning has an LED light strip built in, adjustable arms, tilting for water runoff, manual override in the front arm head. Same thing on the second power awning if you do that feature. And then you also, this one was ordered with slide out awning covers that cover the top of the slide rooms. Those are really nice. They shade the room, repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris and stuff. They roll in and out with the slide when it goes in and out. Now on the cottage, you're gonna have traditional hover style steps. A lot of people build decks around these things. They never even use these steps. They just fold up underneath the bottom of the RV and then they just kind of stay there till you move it or you know, don't use it as, you know, don't have a deck basically, then you need to use them. But again, your choice, however you're gonna set it up. Traditional RV entry door and screen door. It's a nice matching fiberglass, does have a little peephole in it. The unit is a dual axle unit. So you have drum brakes, steel wheels, easy loop hubs. Back door here is a sliding glass entry door. You've seen that when we were inside. Has a large folding handle, traditional hover style step again. There is a electric outlet and cable outlet there in case you wanted to set a TV up outside where you're at. You have a traditional porch light up there as well. Now in order to get some of the extra height and stuff, they do a drop frame. So you'll notice it's a little lower to the ground on the back and the very front than in the middle. And that's how they get the extra height needed to do your loft and stuff up above the bathroom and master bedroom. Now it does have a full enclosed underbelly, 12 volt heated holding tank pads on it as well. Their underbelly is a little bit nicer than most. It's not a one piece setup. It is a multi-piece system so that it can actually be taken apart easier for repairs in the future. Hopefully you never need to do that, but it's nice that it can come apart instead of the traditional one piece where they just cut it open and then tape it back together. So a little easier to use. Traditional flat back fiberglass rear end, a very nice setup here as well. Uh, that little black square right there is the vent that was in the bathroom area you seen when we were in there. Now I wanted to take a second and show you this roof. So I got the staircase out today to give you an idea here on some stuff. So looking at your roof up here, you're gonna have plumbing stack vents, roof vents, attic vents, AC systems, way up there is a TV antenna and stuff up there. So you got quite a few things up here that you do have to get up here and check your seams and your seals and everything to make sure they don't crack open over time, causing water leaks. Very important to get up here and inspect that type of stuff. This is a 3 8 roof decking. So you can get up here and walk around if you need to. Just make sure there's nothing sharp in your shoes so you don't accidentally tear something up. Detachable 50 amp power cord down here in the lower corner. Does have gutter rails running down both sides. There is an access panel right here just to get back in behind the shower area. So you can kind of do some checking and maintenance. Hot and cold low point water drains right here. This was ordered with the washer dryer feature. So you have a dryer vent right there. Access panel here to some of your stuff. So we have water pump. You use this for like winterization uh, as well as your drinking water when you are actually using the RV. That right there is a little check valve for the black tank flush that does get water in it. So you gotta make sure you winterize that. You have your water heater right here. It has bypass system on it, pressure relief valve there. You have your hydraulic slide controls. There's a button here to override as well. Individual on off switches for your slides so you can shut them down. So that if somebody does accidentally push the button, they don't move anything and tear it up. And then you also have some instructions here as well. Over here, you have black tank flush, city water inlets, fresh water tank fill, one of your dumps right here. Stepping back here a little bit, 
see that slide topper again up here. You have the stove exhaust vent up there as well. Cable satellite inlets here. You do have your furnace exhausting out right here. Fresh water tank drain right there as well. Very nice unit. Now right here, some very important informational stickers for you. So for example, this is what they call the dry weight sticker, telling us the RV is 41 feet, six inches long, has a dry weight of 13,781 pounds when it rolled off the assembly line with these options. Tire size, ST23585R16G range tires. Gross vehicle weight, 15,295 pounds. Um, production date on this one was 124 of 24. Model number 40CBK. Also has the VIN number on it as well. Have a really nice fiberglass front shell. Does have a lower black metal skirting, kind of like it does on the sides. Down there is a gas line hookup. So you could plug in like a portable grill or something. Two 30 pound propane tanks, auto change over regulator, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, safety chain, seven way Bargman wiring plug. But a very nice setup there. All right, I wanna take you back inside real quick, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now back up inside the brand new 2024 Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CBK. And I wanted to show you what this thing looks like closed up. So when you are ready to close it, very important, make sure there is nothing on your floor that these slides could run over and trap and damage anything. So no pebbles, you know, kids toys, pet food, whatever. Sweep your floor, make sure it's clean. Make sure you put down your little, uh, extra bar here make sure your tv and stuff is latched into place and then you're going to come back to your control area right here for your slide button now typically what happens when you hit the button this bedroom usually moves first the other ones have a little bit of pressure that relief as well so that one is moving and you can kind of see back here, this one is also moving. Hydraulic fluid on these slides kind of moves the path of least resistance. So sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, uh, depending on how much weight you put in it when you pack all your gear and stuff in it. It might just be the bedroom first and then the kitchen. Or if you pack a lot of stuff in the bottom of that bed, it might be the kitchen first. But you kind of get the idea. So slides start moving. Once those two are in, then the bigger, heavier slide over here comes in next. Now, as always, folks, please remember to check out the people at Couches RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Definitely going to save you a lot of money on a new RV. So now we are all closed up. And as you can see, I can't get past here. I would have to go through the back door to get to the rest of the RV. But you can see, nice and closed, uh, closed up here. It's very tight fit. Again, I could come in the back door, go to the bathroom, get to the back loft. I could even come in to a little bit of the living room area there. If I wanted to get to the front loft or the front bedroom, I'm gonna have to come through the front door. But again, this is a park model. It's really only opened and closed usually at the beginning and end of the season when you are going to take it back out hit the button kind of the same thing the pressure is released the slides start kind of creeping out a little bit doing their thing as you can see here the opposite's kind of happening the bedroom's moving and this big slide's moving but the kitchen's not now again, you can control those 
outside by the on off selector valves if you want to. You can shut them on and off individually. Pretty quick, pretty easy, simple setup. 12 volt slides powered by the hydraulic system running them in and out. Thanks a ton guys for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I greatly appreciate it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. Thanks again.